Welcome back animators. In our last tutorial we went over a couple of ways of getting your iRay render times down so if you didn't see that one I would recommend going and checking that one out first. In this one we're going to be going over animating in Daz Studio so let's get right to it. So in my scene I already have Genesis 3 base female loaded in and I applied the chase hair and the apocalyptica outfit to her and what we're going to do with her is do a basic animation using the timeline. So bring up your timeline. Right over here, you can set how many frames per second you want the, the render to be. I usually keep it at 30 frames per second. And total frames, I'm going to do 90. That'll give us three seconds of animation. And first of all, let's create a camera. Either click right here or you can go up to create new camera. If you like the frame that's set up in your perspective view right here, just click right here, copy active view, and that's gonna put the camera right where you have it already. So let's switch to camera. And you can, you can rotate it around still from this point. But if you ever want to do something else in the scene, always switch out of perspective view so you're not messing with your camera. So you can go around in perspective view and when you go back to your camera, it's back where you had it. So let's go forward to frame 15 and what we're gonna do with Genesis 3 selected, let's apply a pose like that. And uh, let's take a look at it, see if we like that. That looks good. And then let's move forward to frame 70. And then let's apply a different pose. And you'll see what happens when you apply those poses that it creates some keyframes right here. And in between those keyframes, it's going to transition smoothly between those two poses that you applied. That looks pretty good. But if you notice, if you go back to frame zero, it's going to have that T pose because it starts off with a keyframe at zero. So if you don't want it to have that keyframe, what you're going to do, right click on Genesis 3, go to select and select children. That's going to grab every bone that is keyframed. And what you're gonna do is hit this key right here with the X that will delete that keyframe. And you can use these other buttons to jump between keyframes. But let's see how that worked out. We'll deselect all those and scrub through our timeline. And it looks like we've got a nice smooth animation. So let's uh, go one step further and add a little bit of camera movement. So. Let's select our camera, and it's got that keyframe here at frame zero. Let's go all the way to the end, and let's say we wanted to do a slow push right into her face. Then you go back, you can see we have a slow push it goes into her face. Or let's say maybe we want to do something like a pen. So just go to your keyframe and move it around how you want and it automatically uh, edits those keyframes that you set up. So you can see now it's a pan to the right. And these keyframes will automatically have a curved interpolation. And that means that it's, it starts off slow and then will speed up and then it will slow down coming back into the frame. So it's a nice smooth transition rather than a linear interpolation, which is very harsh, which moves at the same rate throughout the whole transition. So we've got that set up. 
So let's render it out. So first of all, I would suggest rendering out a basic OpenGL to see if the animation is working correct, and then go into your iRay render. So we're going to start zero, frame zero, end 89, and we're going to do an image series rather than a movie. If you do a movie, it's a self-contained file, and if anything happens to your render or your computer crashes at some point, it's going to lose the whole file. If you do an image series, it's spitting out each frame individually, and then you put them together afterwards in your editing software. You're just going to import as a PNG series or JPEG series. So what we're going to do, name the series base something like Genesis. You wouldn't want to name it Genesis 3 because it uses this name plus 001 or 005 for each frame. So you don't want to end your series base name with a number. So let's render that out, take it into our editing software, put it together, and take a look at it. So here we have the final render. It's just on loop here. And since we didn't have any background in our scene, it automatically outputs it as an alpha channel. And uh, all this area behind her is transparent. So you can put any image you want behind your character. So you can see I went in and added some eye movement and a couple of blinks and even a little bit of facial expression at the end here using the same techniques that we went over in this tutorial. I would really like to see what you guys can do with this using this technique. Try it in other ways. Try it with morphs, with head movement, with arm movement. Just fiddle around with it and see what kind of animations you can come up with. Be sure to check back often because we're going to be coming out with a lot more tutorials in the near future. We'll see you then.